What's up guys, I'm Tomarep Siavon and welcome to a brand new video, football talk vlog video where I want to talk about uh, Liverpool uh, and the managerial situation. So yesterday the, bro the news broke that Jurgen Klopp ruled out a move to, a summer move to Liverpool and to any other club because he said in an interview that uh, after seven intense and emotional years I think it's a good idea to let the numerous memories settle in before I take on a new challenge with my coaching team, refreshed and fully motivated. He said uh, to the German uh, news agency and uh, I'm, I'm so, so Klopp is saying that he's going to take a break until further notice and that comes as a big blow for Liverpool who were hoping that Klopp would take the job and there has been many many articles saying that Klopp would be interested in the job. This could mean one of uh, two things. Um, first of all, maybe Klopp uh, was approached by Liverpool, we don't know that. Maybe the owners approached him, but Klopp didn't like uh, the transfer committee and this whole uh, structure at Liverpool. And maybe he said that he doesn't want to take the Liverpool job, um, ask me in a year's time or ask me in six months time, but then, by then the Liverpool job might not be available. Um, or. The other option is that uh, Klopp just uh, really wants to take a rest. Uh, he must be exhausted after seven years of managing Borussia Dortmund and he's a, a guy full of emotions, full of passion. I think he would have suited Liverpool Football Club perfectly and the passion of the fans perfectly. So I'm, I'm quite sad about this news. Let me know what do you think about this in the comments below. And I think unless uh, FSG uh, find a better replacement for Brandon Rogers. The sad thing is that Rogers might stay. Well, we don't know how Rogers will do next season. That's a big gamble. I think uh, appointing Ancelotti, if he's interested, that's a big if. We don't know that exactly. Uh, AC Milan are courting, Anc uh, courting Ancelotti. I think we will find it out this week what will happen with the managerial situation because the owners. Both uh, and, uh, John W. Henry and Tom Werner are flying to Liverpool and there will be an end of season review tomorrow and uh, don't get me wrong guys, I like Rodgers as a manager but I think we need a bigger name to attract uh, bigger name players so either Ancelotti or maybe Frank de Boer would be another great option but I think uh, before Brandon Rodgers was appointed uh, Andre Villas-Boas was also high on their list so maybe they will uh, they will talk to Andre Villas Boas as well. I'm not sure what uh, you guys think about that. Let me know in the comments below. What do you think about this whole managerial situation? I'm uh, I'm really uh, quite down at the moment uh, regarding uh, Jurgen Klopp uh, not uh, you know not being an option for Liverpool. But if we can appoint either Ancelotti or Frank de Boer, I would be very very excited about the future at Liverpool Football Club and also uh, it looks like um, we are very close to two or three signings, new signings which are which uh, will be um, in tomorrow's video. I will make a Liverpool transfer uh, video tomorrow about this, uh, about all the, a lot of news happening around Liverpool Football Club at the moment. So um, Rodgers will stay unless FSG find a better replacement. That's basically the bottom line. If FSG wanted to sack Rodgers, he would have gone by now. When Kenny Daglish was sacked, FSG uh, wasn't lining up a replacement. They just sacked him and then they were looking for replacements. And uh, FSG don't want to make the, that mi mistake again. So they are lining up replacements right now. They are talking to candidates this week and uh, Rodgers will be sagged if they can find a suitable and a better replacement. If not, then Rodgers stays in his job and of course FSG will say they will. They were never thinking about sacking Rodgers. FSG will say uh, Rodgers' uh, job was secure, uh, never in doubt. Because yeah, that's just the PR bullshit that they have to do. I mean, uh, they can't say we talked to a lot of guys, but they didn't want to come or they didn't agree or we, we couldn't agree on things. So Roger stays uh, because there were no replacements found. 
they can't say that so of course they will say um but we will, we will see what happens i think this week we will find out a lot about the managerial situation so i will keep you posted let me know what do you think about the whole situation in the comments below and who do you want to be liverpool's manager next season i want ancelotti he was my first choice he's a world class manager i would love to I would have loved to see jurgen klopp uh, frank de boer is a a gamble, just like keeping Rodgers is a gamble. Ancelotti would be a smaller gamble than that. Um, and th I can't really see any other really good replacements. Andre Villas-Boas would be an even bigger gamble. Um, he, he, he did pretty well at Tottenham, but he failed at Chelsea. So, um, so yeah, let me know what do you think about this in the comments below. And thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed this. See you later, guys. Have a lovely day. Goodbye.